CN first heard reports of severe weather out in the hill country where hail and high winds came down and then moved east towards Austin. Alex Capriello spent most of his day working for us in Horseshoe Bay, talked with homeowners about how they were preparing for the severe weather tonight. Alex. Yeah, I actually followed those storms as they were heading east towards Austin. As you can see right now, I'm in Lakeway, right here at the marina. Quite different than when you last saw me about an hour ago when the wind and the rain were pouring down on me. As you can see, it's just a slight breeze at this point. But as Sydney was uh, saying earlier, I did spend most of my day out in Horseshoe Bay. They were some of the first to actually see those storm clouds form up. They were telling me all about the severe weather threats because they know it well. They're still cleaning up from that historic flood that came in the fall of 2018. They're taking care of it now because the Lower Colorado River Authority have actually lowered the water levels about four feet so they can finally tackle some of those big projects and the damage that came from the flood. As you can see, some of the boat slips and some of the uh, docks and the piers have taken some severe damage. And so now's about the time they're actually taking care of it. So when it came to tonight's storms, they said they were definitely taking it seriously. A little bit more apprehensive when you see a big flash flood warning and whatever else because the, the thought of getting your lower level flooded out, you know, kind of flashes back in your mind every time. So it, it's definitely right there at the top of your mind. So now here's the deal. It's all hands on deck from this point until the next about month and a half. That's when the Lower Colorado River Authority says they're going to start refilling the lake. So right now, everyone's uh, getting their hands dirty and doing what they can to make those necessary repairs. Right now, the LCRA says they've pinpointed February 24th to be the day that they're going to start refilling the lake. Live in Lakeway, I'm Alex Capriello, KXAN News.